And what's going on? This is your boy Joe Fontaine of Joe Fontaine Music, and I'm hitting up one of my VIP members who had a quick question in regards to how to route out the MIDI. So, um, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll jump into that. I'll show you how you can um, track out your uh, your MIDI because he's more or less wanting to um, bust the MIDI out. I think it was, but uh, I'll show you a workflow that works a lot better and gives you a lot uh, more total control over your your MIDI notes for editing and making clips and things that way. So I, f I find this way it'll probably be a lot more or less problematic for you. So uh, let's go ahead and do it. Let's throw in our thinking caps, and I'll walk you through it. So just follow me on this, and we'll get you going. Check it out. All right, here we have Machine. Uh, I mean, we have, I'm so used to Machine. <laughs> All right, we have Ableton Live here, okay? And we have it open on this uh, particular uh, scene screen here. And uh, what I would do is I would go over here under this, this little instrument tab, grab... Uh, Let's see here. An external instrument. Put it above this bar right here. Just had to reactivate my mic. All right, so now we have an instrument track. The next thing you would do would be to duplicate that for the sake, or rather for the sake of the length of the video. I'll just do a couple right now. And what we want to do from here is we want to point the MIDI and the audio back to contact. And you'll see why in a minute and why this is going to make perfectly good sense. So let's start on this one right here. Uh, just so we don't get confused, let me, go, let me just get a rename these right quick. I'll name this two. I'll rename this three, and I'll rename this four. You know, of course, you would name it something a lot more logical <laughs> than what I'm doing right now. But this is more or less to give you the visual aspect. So when you're you know, referring back to the video, you, you can go up and say, okay, you could be like, okay, well, I see what's going on. All right. so. This numerical data up here is going to trigger the light bulb in your head. I promise you that. Watch. All right, so you see the, the little GUI interface come up down here for the external instrument. And where it says MIDI 2, we're going to uh, point that to contact, like so. OK, and audio from, you guessed it, from contact. All right, so we did that one. So let's go and jump over to this one, contact. Where, where do we want the MIDI pointing to? And where do we want the audio coming from? You guessed it. Jump over here. And finishing off on four. All right. So that wasn't too bad, right? So now we have the audio and MIDI pointing from this particular uh, external instrument track. Four, three and two. <clears throat> and here we have contact five. Now, what you can do is when you highlight this particular section here, you hold shift on the last track here. Like so. Right click. Group track. And we will name it, uh, let's see, contact five. I want to make it fit. GRP. Like so. All right, so now we have our group. Now, we can save this group, and you can drag it from here into your, your templates folder here inside Ableton Live. That'll probably be the best place to find it. It'll be a lot easier, actually. And you can make as many of these as you want, you know, um, custom, whatever. So um, let's go back to contact. All right, here's contact. Now, there's two ways we can do this. Now, we can create a new instrument track, or we can create a new instrument bank. Um, if you have certain instruments that you want to um, route the MIDI, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to do a custom sound. Well, not really custom sound design, but I guess it would be if you tweak them out. You know, if you, if you, anything you do to audio, if you change it, it pretty much becomes yours from, from a legal standpoint anyway. But um, let's, let's choose a new instrument bank. One, let's do two. And let's do three. OK, so, so now we have three instrument banks, which are blank, uh, nothing in them. So let's choose an instrument for the first one. I will use this large ensemble Piz. I love Pizzy strings. That's just me. I, you know, you, you, know you, you put whatever you want, whatever you desire. Here's the icon here if you want to go under the hood. We're not going to worry about that right now. I have a previous tutorial on that. Let's close the hood on that. Um, just to get a wide variety of different sounds so we don't sound so confused, um, let's grab an orchestral hit. Uh, let's
let's grab, I don't know, I, you know, I'll just put this one. I don't know what that's going to sound like. And I'm not trying to make a beat or anything like that, by the way. And let's see. What about an organ? Let's do, I don't know, let's do a B3. Let's drop that guy in there, drop that bad boy in there. And once again, we'll close that out. All right, so we got three instruments. Of course, you know, in real life, you would add more instruments, and you know, you would have, you know, a general idea of where you would be going with this. This is just for a tutorial, so I'm like flying just, you know, on the seat of my pants here. All right, so now we want to point that MIDI and audio back to contact. So more or less, in a sense, when you were saying you want to bust your audio out, this is going to be busting the audio out in a sense, and I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So let's go ahead. And get this set up right quick. Just follow, you know, just follow me on this. You know, if you're, you know, at home, just uh, doing what I'm doing here. Boom. All right, it can't get no easier than that. You know, in 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 my opinion, that's that's A B C one two three. It can't get no easier than that, fam. All right, so now we're back to our contact group. <clears throat> you see, we have this MIDI track two right here armed. Okay. So now that's going to correspond with the large ensemble PIS. The three here is going to um, correspond with orchestral hit 22. And the four uh, track here is going to correspond with the B3 organ. Why? Because that's where we have the MIDI pointed. And we also have it in the GUIs down here pointed. So everything is lined up in sequential order. You know, the stars and the moons and the suns, whatever you want to call it, every, every, all the planets are in alignment right now. Okay, that's the easiest way I can explain it. So these are going to be triggered individually. Like right now, track two should be the large ensemble. So let me put my mic down, make sure that that's triggering off. If I did that right, it should be triggering off. So let me grab the keys right quick. All right, and we'll position this over, over here like so. Oh, wait a minute, you know what? There, okay, there's one more thing I forgot. There's, I have to do this, hold on. Down here, these are your, um, your outputs. We gotta set these up, hold on. Moving a little too quick. Uh, you get that message, just ignore it. Let's see here, three, three. All right, so we got what, two, three, Okay, and this should be four. Four and four. All right, boom. So on stereo two, two, stereo three, three, stereo four, four. And we'll move this to the side a little bit. something right quick just to give you an idea now you notice that was tricking off right there on 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 uh midi track two all right so now let's go ahead and take a look at a different one we have the orchestral hit 22 so i'm not even going to attempt to play that because it's not even going to even be a sound that's going to be more like just a hit so let me just kind of arm this track which is track three like so move this to the side and, and you see that triggering off. Sound like some, some Bruce Lee finna come through the, uh, the studio or something. You know what I'm saying? Bruce Lee was bad, wasn't he? Hey, yo, but anyway, yo, check it out. We're gonna um, go to track four, B3 organ. Let's go ahead and drop the joint on that joint. All right, so now we have that pointing. Let's go to move to the side. And this should be the last little sound in our group. Let's see, we'll just play over here maybe.
All right, so now we have our sounds. So let's just say, for the sake of argument, you're like, okay, but Joe Fontaine, you showed me that. I don't, I don't, I don't know. If, I don't think that's gonna work, man. Trust me, it's gonna work, dude. Check it out. All right, contact five here is your group. When you want, when you want them sounds to trigger out, bro, you got to have it armed, like, like how the organs are armed, like this right here. When I push play on that, it's gonna start recording here. Then when I hit this, this arm here, it's gonna start recording here. Now, when you're at home, it's gonna be easier for you because you don't have a mic hooked up. But for just time saving factors, I'm gonna use this screen right here because it's just gonna be a lot uh, easier for me. Uh, let me just get everything set up here so it'll be easier for me to see what the heck I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna do mine like this. Let's say we're starting to record from right here. Okay, that'll be one sound. Let me hurry up. Those are those hits. Okay. Okay, and those are those piss strings. I'm not trying to play too much. I'm trying to hurry up so I can get back over here and stop this. So I can show you. All right, now of course, you know, I did that sloppy because, you know, I'm holding a mic, I'm playing with one hand, it's going crazy. But now you have these clips, okay? Now you know this clip is on clip four, this is on three, this is two. You know, you might wanna come in here and rename that so you won't, you know, get confused. Let's see, I'll put two. Rename this joint the three. And rename this joint the four. Like so. And I'll show you why I did that too. Okay, for example, let's say if I'm pushing play on here. All right, it's chilling all by itself on its own little track. MIDI, MIDI notes. I'll go over here. You know, of course, that sounded bugged out, but all right, and over here, it's that last one. Pizzy strings, and you see everything's tracked out, man. You know, so and it's all it's all in this, this group. You know, you see right here, contact group. I, I put contact five group. You know, and again, you drag that over, and you know, you save it in here. And anytime you come back, that saves as a template. So when you come back inside of Ableton Live, you just drag that over above this bar, boom, and this is gonna open up in one, two, three, like, and then you can just start getting busy like so quick. You don't have to sit there and reroute everything all over again. So I hope that makes it easy, because like um, you could take these clips. Okay, remember this is on four, so we gotta put it where? Yep, you guessed it, on four. There's a four, three, where does it go? You guessed it, right on three. Two, yep. So if, you, if you're gonna do your sequencing inside Ableton Live, you know you can trigger these clips. Like, so I'm doing that just, you know, kind of quick. I'll just take that off. I'm doing it out of sequence, whatever, but you get the idea. Okay, and, you know, and then, you know, if you want to come in here, let me see, bring this back up. There's a way, I forget. There's a way I could shrink these tracks down, but I forget. You guys, you know, you probably, you know, more. Oh, here it is, right here. <laughs> okay, yeah, these. You can shrink these down, like so. All right. And now, now, if you need more MIDI, you put them in. Like so. Now, of course, I'm just duplicating this, this one that says track four. Of course, you know, you would just add more MIDI tracks. Because right now, all this would be pointed and, and, you know, if you got them all like this with the same ins and outs pointing to contact, don't try to play that because it's going to be a, a loud mess. You know, you would come in here, like this would be five. You would rename this one to five, okay? And 
then you would come down here and you'd make this point to five, audio five, like so, and then you'd point the MIDI to five down there. Then what you would do is you'd go back to contact and you would create a new group. You would press file, new instrument back, not new group, I'm sorry, but you would get a new sound, okay, and then the process repeats, all right? So again, I want to give a strong shout out to my VIP members. You guys keep me, keep me on my toes with the emails and the questions. You know, again, for those who don't know, I do have a VIP membership. That's $9.99, no monthly fees. You can get in and get custom Ableton Live files. You can get custom Reason files, Pro Tools structure kits, um, custom machine files, uh, custom um, Mac MIDI controller editor programs. I have a lot of controller editor templates. Um, you know, things like that inside my VIP database to help um, people learn our programs a lot easier and as well as to make their workflows a lot easier. So, you know, I got beats, drum kits, uh, you name it. I have HD drum kits that, you know, I custom created, uh, have custom sounds created off the motif, uh, stuff like that. I have motif uh, sounds you can go in there and grab. So, you know, you go inside the VIP database and just have a ball. And again, I want to say thanks to all my VIP members as well as all the support of the people on YouTube. And I do this for you guys. You know, I, I, you know if you guys know me, you know that I will never charge for a tutorial video. I just don't believe in it. I believe uh, knowledge should be an open source, and uh, that's just my opinion. And, you know, again, the only thing I charge for is like, you know, drum kits, beats, stuff like that, or a VIP membership, because, you know, I work hard on some of the things that I do put in there, and uh, it just makes life easier. All right? So I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.